Windows Server 2022. Welcome back everybody. I'm Prakash Pradhan, your trainer for this entire series. In today's topic, we are going to talk about one of the important job actually as a system administrator or it might be the system engineer for every system head in any organization from small to the larger organization. That is simply to keep a track of all the, you know, objects that's been access or that's been changed that's been deleted or entire record has to be stored somewhere that means in this session we are going to learn how to use the auditing actually so this auditing i'm going to show you whenever any client access any of the files of the folder so by the time they get access it has to be kept securely in a form of auditing access that means microsoft has provided with the event viewer to view all the audit all the log whatever access is being done via network so in this session i'm going to show you how in server 2022 we can configure the auditing policy via group policy so that we can keep a track of all the objects that's been accessed so here we go without wasting a time so let's go to the server so this is our server so in the server, I'm going to create one folder, okay? For example, let's go to any drive. So most probably I'm having only two partitions over here. So I'm going to use one of them in order to create one folder. So let's go to one drive over here. That's a logical volume. I do believe everyone knows that. So let's create one folder and give a name as a, let's say, file and folder audit, for example. Okay, now, the next question comes over here whenever any group of users access this files or folder we are trying to keep a track who accessed this file okay who deleted the folder last time who had access to any kind of file last time so entire this audit can be stored now for that you need to make sure that you have previously decided that means you have already created one group on which you are going to monitor this one okay so for my example let's say i might have one group pre-created might be somewhere over here uh might be somewhere finance okay there is a one group actually okay this is a finance group so let's say there might be some member at least one so far i, I remember okay if one is the member of this group that means whoever are the member of this group and access the resources that is in a form of the folder that we created just now that is this folder okay this folder file and folder audit whoever access this folder we would like to monitor this one whoever access this folder that auditing has to be done so that's why now first make sure you have created one folder okay that i am say one group and that group will be assigned a permission to the specific your folder so here we go now after creating any group now we'll create one folder that is already done now let's start assigning a permission to that particular group so that you can monitor okay so let's go to sharing option now i believe by this time you already know all these things because i've already uploaded entire this file sharing file server resource manager okay dfs entire things for the server 2019 and you hardly find some differences between these two server operating systems so it's a kind of same now let's go to the sharing now i'm going to go to the advanced sharing of course we are going to bring a modification in the ntfa so that's what i'm going to do from here on okay so let's share it giving a permission to everyone because we are going to filter this permission the right after this okay now apply okay now let's go to the interface now go to the security i'm going to advance okay now first i would like to disable the inheritance about the disabling inheritance how to set up this i have already made a video in server 2019 so i suggest you if you have not gone through that please visit that so now let's go to disable the inheritance of course convert inherited permissions into explicit permission on this object now this everyone it's better you remove okay and users also let's remove testing this also you remove why because we'd like to add the specific group okay so that group was so far i remember finance so let's search it so we'd like to give permission to only to this finance group okay now to this finance group what do you want to apply to this folder subfolder and the files so let's give only this folder okay so what are the other advanced permission you'd like to set let's say create create folder entire options are here okay so for now we would like to set up only with this permission this one and we are going to go to the principal name and write your group name select it okay now they are having this much 
permission at this moment okay now if you'd like to have certain modification you'll have to go to the advanced and you bring the changes whatever you'd like to do this okay now this one will be doing later on in your auditing log also but right now if you like to have this permission create files right you can set it it is up to you okay so let's go in okay apply okay now one part is done okay now since this folder is already shared to the member of that group so let's try to access via that group and let's add another one user okay we do have another one user f2 let this user also make a group up here this group that means over here this one f2 user also we are going to add a group into finance that means now we have two users so two users are the member of that finance group okay now so i'm going to go to the client and try to access the resource that we have shared okay so i'm in a client this is my client okay so let's log in using that user let's go for the authentication username and password and now i'm going to access that folder and it should be able to show me that folder okay so this is the ip address of our domain now let's see file and folder audit i hope this is the folder that we created now it is not permitted so what was the folder we need to make it sure that now okay so let's go to the domain okay and the folder that we created file and folder okay now let's see the permission whom did we assign this okay properties sharing advanced permission everyone full okay it's okay now we also had disable inheritance from here as well okay security see finance is already there so that user is a member of the finance okay so let's try to log in again it should be able or it might be waiting for you to at least update this policy once okay so no problem let's do that okay now we'll try to log in again okay now let's log off and let's log in using the f1 account first okay let's try both because it's going to allow both the users okay f1 and f2 both should be allowed to access that file so i'm going to log in as a user f1 because that is also part of that member okay so rather than using tst i'm going to use f1 and let's log in using this credential now this user has assign a permission to access that file so let's go to the unc path again let's access it okay file and folder audit now it is done that means this folder is successfully access to the user and the group which we assign now the next thing is that we'll have to work with the group policy so that we can edit this file clearly so let's go to our group policy now group policy group policy management and we are going to create one group policy so that we can audit this folder and file access so let's create one group policy name and let's say file and folder access audit it's better you give the name identical it will be easy for us okay later on now let's go to edit this one policies windows setting and security setting please note it down local policies audit policy what do we want to audit over here that is the audit object access whatever objects are being accessed we'd like to audit that one so this is by default not configured that means that's disable so let's go to define and what do you want to audit only the success or failure we'd like to go for both so that's why i suggest you to click both now there is another one setting that you have to do it advanced audit also has to be selected over here audit policies okay object access and over here audit file system not file share this is the file system okay audit success failure both done from the group policy point of view this is the only co configuration that you have to do it okay now there is another one thing that you have to go through it let's go back to that folder which we shared last time and there is another one tab i guess we have not said that okay normally we don't do that so let's go to that folder in the sharing okay now go to the sharing advanced okay this is already done go to the security advanced 
this one auditing is not selected so far because we save the folder and the auditing option is set from the group policy but in this particular folder to that the members of the group it is not selected so we will have to go to auditing okay and add it whom that group okay that is the finance if you forget to do this it's not going to edit okay edit it okay we have added and so advanced permission what are the advanced permission that you'd like to edit if you select all of this it's going to you know generate a lot, lot of traffic in your event viewer so i suggest you to select you know uh, read okay this read attribute it's okay and the most important thing that we are going to monitor over here is create file and folder and write folder delete it subfolder delete these are the most commonly used your event that we are going to monitor to that particular group those are a member of that particular group that reside the permission of sharing or accessing a, that particular folder okay now it is done apply okay now we'll have to update this policy once so by the time it updates that policy let's go to the client and let's try to update over here as well because we don't want to create any hassle okay okay and i do believe you understand that the default time frame for updating a group policy that's a by default we can see that five minutes is set and we don't want to wait that much as well now so after updating that group policy from both the computers in the server and client so it is already done now i'm going to access a file first now okay this is f1 user okay so let's see who's the user i'm a f1 user over here okay now i'm going to access the file for which i am granted from the server okay this is the ip address now let's go to that folder i have a full permission i'm going to create one folder okay and inside a folder i'm going to create one more file and the name of file let's give it run okay access is done now after that we'll go to the server and we'll try to edit that that means monitor that okay now we have two options to see this audit that is from the straight away go to the run in you type event viewer or you can also go from tools and you'll also find over here event viewer no matter whichever option you use it will land you to the same screen so i'd like to show you from the run as well okay so let's go to run and you write event viewer.msc it's going to land you to the same screen now in order to view the log of your object access you'll have to go to the windows log and security you might be having so many you know audit over here successful uh, previously i have you know cleared all the event just to show you that otherwise if you remember i told you that selecting so many options for the audit will generate your audit file over here so that's why i try to minimize this okay now let's double click this one and see what are the things it has captured the in a form of auditing so computer name is the server okay it is done it is not showing any of the thing over here though it is being accessed why i do believe you understand the most important thing is still not done what is that linking that group policy to the particular group see this is your group policy but whom do you want to deploy this that is not selected and now what you need to i want you to understand that after creating this group policy where do you want to deploy it i would like to monitor all of the event that is being captured in a form of object access to that computer where the file server is located now where do we have the file server in this server computer itself that means in this computer we are doing over here only see server in the domain itself so it's not mandatory that you do the monitoring staying at the domain only. but right now since we're in a lab environment this group policy is not linked so where do i have to link i need to link in that computer where the file server is hosted and where is that file server hosted in this computer itself so where do you think the domain controller domain controller will reside in ou of course that's a domain controller itself so if you would like to make sure i'd like to show you again see go to the users and computers and you see the computer where file server is set that means the computer from where the file is shared of course we did from the domain controller see server 
That's why I showed you. Okay. Now that group policy has to be linked. Okay. Now don't forget that. So right click and link an existing GPU. Remember, we created one group policy and we did the entire setting. That was a file and folder access audit. Okay. Okay. Now link is done. Now update policy. So guys, don't forget, it's not only about creating your group policy. It has to be linked to the particular or the concerned group as well, where your computer reside. Okay. Now let's go to the server. Updating is done successfully. Now again, let's go back to the client. Okay. Now we'll try to access that file again. This is the address. Let's access it. It's the same folder. Permission is there. Previously, we created this. Okay, now let's create another one folder. So I'm going to write this one is final log. Okay, and let's create another one file inside this. File name I'm going to give Sita. Okay, now it's done. So file and folders are created. Now, as we have already said or deployed from the group policy to monitor all of this event. So now what's going to happen in a server if I go to your event viewer, it has already captured. See now. Go to the tools. Of course, event viewer I told you or you go to the run and write event viewer.msc. Now after that, go to the windows logs, security. Now it's going to list. See so many are there. So let's take it from here. This one. See, file and folder audit, this is the folder, final, this is the created, remember, this is the last file we access. That means it has given a detailed information and that audit was success because successfully that file and folder was accessed and the folder and the file was created actually. So that's why it's going to give you, this is the name of your folder. So this way you can easily monitor that who accessed that file for the last time, okay, who created the folder, who owns the file. So entire thing can be easily monitored in your server 2022 in order to manage or monitor your file and folder access with the help of this auditing. So I do believe that this gives you a bit clear picture that from the group policy with the help of server 2022, administrator can easily monitor the log that who created the file folder and the file or who was the last one to have access to the file and folder. This is very much important to each and every system administrator actually to keep a record of entire object that's been accessed in your domain controller. So if you find it fruitful, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.